In the heart of London, amidst the buzz of the 1930s, stood a hotel renowned for its elegance and the distinguished clientele it attracted. But not all was as pristine as it seemed. The kind of place where the toilet paper is softer than a mother's lullaby and the bathroom tiles are as pristine as freshly fallen snow. The tranquility, however, is shattered by an unexpected and rather fragrant guest, a turd, so large that it can't be missed. It's just sitting there in the middle of the lobby. At once, the local constable was called in, Dobby the Bobby. He's a rugged, aged gent with handlebar whiskers and is within days of retirement. I'm quite knackered. I just need a bog-standard room, Dobby uttered. Sir, the hotel manager questioned, aren't you here for the, er... Uh, don't throw a wobbly, you jitty. Spit it out. The turd, sir, the hotel manager retorted. And so begins the world's most unusual whodunit, or should we say, who did it meet our suspects. First up, there's Lord Dung Dapperly, a billionaire with a penchant for beans and a suspiciously loose alibi. Then there's Lady Poodington, an aristocrat with a reputation for causing a stink. And who could forget the enigmatic Matilda Plumbutt? a woman whose past is as murky as a boggy marsh. Lest us not forget her fiancé, Cuthbert Flabbergas, an entrepreneur in manure. This is a tale that will have you on the edge of your seat, holding your nose and questioning everything you thought you knew about bathroom etiquette. As the investigation unfolds, the tension thickens like an acidulent Yorkshire pudding. Accusations fly like toilet paper in the wind. Yet, despite the mounting evidence, the question remains, who left the jobby in the lobby? Our detective, Dobby the Bobby, navigates the minefield of clues with the precision of a cat covering its business, but even he struggles to sift through the layers of this faecal mystery. After all, in a hotel full of the upper crust, who would stoop to such a low blow? The clock is ticking, the air fresheners are running out, and the mystery remains unsolved. Will Dobby the Bobby unmask the culprit before the hotel's reputation goes down the drain? Or will the stinky suspect manage to slip away, leaving behind nothing but a whiff of their crime? In the end, the truth is flushed out, leaving everyone in a state of shock. The culprit, it seems, had a reason as solid as their evidence. But we won't spoil the ending for you. Let's just say this is one story that will make you think twice before you leave the seat up. So, buckle up for a roller coaster ride of laughs, gasps and bathroom humour that will leave you giggling and perhaps a little grossed out. And shall I have to say, this story is filled with British slang, enough to make your mum proud. Remember, in the world of bathroom mysteries, nothing is as it seems. And sometimes, the truth really does stink. Welcome to the world's first turd mystery. Who left a jobby in the lobby? A book and soon-to-be animation from creator Nick Nabelski. Who also brought you the truth behind number one and number two, Cooper the Super Pooper, and more fart jokes than you can shake a stick at. It's a crappy job, but someone's got to do it. Another Poopy Stories book. Copyright 2023 Intense Media. All rights reserved.